Tuesday, December 3rd, 2024. Super powered individual. Romans chapter 16:25 to 27. Now to him who is able to establish you by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him. Verses 25 to 26. The remnants must pray while holding on to the power that God gives. Then the works of the triune God and the throne will be raised as a partisan. When this prayer takes place naturally in their lives, they will become a superpowered individual. Unimaginable power will be given to them. What happened to the remnants in Babylon? First, the God-given covenant was fulfilled. God gave to Isaiah and fulfilled the salvation message and the covenant of Emmanuel. The covenants for Babylon that were relayed through Isaiah were all fulfilled. Second, the method that was used for fulfilling the covenant in Babylon was the witness. Daniel held on to the covenant that was relayed through Isaiah and made his resolve. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 through 9. Even while he was thrown into the den of lions, he didn't lie. He survived throughout the night and became a witness who testified of God's existence. When the Israelites were all about to die, Esther knew the covenant of why God sent her to the palace in the first place and saved her people. The news of his of this spread to other nations as well. Third, the reconstruction movement arose. David reconstructed the crumbled down temple. Like so, raising the temple is the mission and blessing of the remnant. May the remnants challenge themselves in praising the prayer partisan. Dear God, may I raise the prayer partisan. With superpowers, may I see the fulfillment of your covenant. I pray in the name of the living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.